Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thank you for checking out today's video. Before I even say it, I can already guess exactly what you're gonna comment. You're gonna say, well, you should have got the Limited, you should have got the GT, and that's not what we're here about. We're here to fix the problem that I have, which is I don't like the seats in the car. So the base model and the premium model got the cloth seats and there's a lot to be desired still. The seats are comfortable. The seats hold you in place very well. And overall, the design isn't bad. I just don't like the color. I don't like the texture. We'll look at those real quick. So the factory seats in this car, if you guys don't have a base or a premium and you're not sure what they look like, here is what they look like. That is just so ugly. And I know it's hard to see with the way the lighting is right now, especially in the sun. So you can see this section right here in the sunlight. And my biggest problem with them isn't necessarily the seat itself. It's this texture right here. It looks old, it looks outdated. It looks like my grandma's couch. It just doesn't look good. And they put this red stitching inside the seat. So not only are you getting the red stitching here, but they put little red stitch fibers in between all of this material and I don't like it. It drives me nuts. I don't like the way these seats look and it just feels rough. It doesn't, and I get it. It's a WRX. They've always come with seats that are like kind of like this. Um, never anything fancy. So it's not a big surprise. Now we look at the back seats and I'll be honest, the back seats, it doesn't look quite as bad. It's not quite as prominent. Again, this is a terrible time of day to be shooting this um, where the sun's coming in, you can't really see it. But you can kind of see the design here on the back seats. So when you think about replacing your seats with something else, the first thing most people usually think of is racing seats. Don't get me wrong, I'd love a set of racing seats in this car, but here's the thing. It's a modern car with modern safety. Why would you get rid of that? And I, I get it, putting a racing steering wheel in there, putting a racing seat in there with a harness bar, et cetera, awesome, right? But you have airbags in the side of your seat for a side impact where you could have somebody run into the side of your car or whatever happens, right? If that airbag isn't there, you're losing a lot of safety factor. And these cars have a really good safety rating. The last thing I wanna do is remove any of the safety features out of this car. So that brings us to option number two, which is what? upgraded factory seats. Here's the problem. The base and the premium have standard control seats. They're not powered seats. They have a regular slider and handlebar to move the seat. So if you upgrade to a limited or GT seats, they are power seats and you're gonna have to do all kinds of crazy wiring to get them to work if you can get them to work. So that kind of throws that idea out of the table. So what is the last resort? Seat covers. I know, I know, I know, seat covers. You go to AutoZone, spend $20, you get these seat covers. They look real great. Just kidding, they look terrible, nobody likes them. They look like garbage until today. We have seat covers from Custom Interior. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's a seat cover. Just look at this. Oh, I'm sorry. It got hot, I had to change. I don't think I've ever been more ready for winter in my life. And that's crazy for me to say that. Um, anyways, we got the seat out of the car. I will walk you guys back and show you what I did to remove it. It's really not hard. That's why I didn't film it. But I'll take it back there and I'll show you what all needs to come out. So to remove your driver's seat, you have a 14 millimeter bolt on both front sides. And then you have 14 millimeter bolts on both the back sides. These are going to have these little plastic covers hiding the bolts. So you're going to have to pop these off. Just a flathead screwdriver or anything will work for that. Uh, pry those off and then take those 14 mils out. And then you have three connectors under the seat. Um, check out their website. Look at all the colors, all the styles that you can get. They have STI style seats where like the side bolsters are red if that's your thing. But anyways, I'm going to try and get this on and walk you guys through it as best as I can. So if we're going to start with this seat, I'm going to go ahead and pull the headrest off. There's a button on the side, you just press and pull up. It's gonna lock into place, which is so stupid. There's a little lever in here that you're gonna push on the other side, a little tab. You'll push that in and this will come up. So I'm gonna start with this top section. Here is our seat cover. You're gonna notice that there is a zipper on one of the sides. Make sure that's the same side that has the zipper on the factory seat, which on the driver's side is the left side of the seat. So we'll take our cover and we'll just slip it down over the top. You're gonna see these anchors and stuff. Don't worry about those for now. Just pull the cover down over the seat. 
These are fitted covers, so they're going to be a little tight. Now, up top here, I'm just going to be basically pushing the fabric down and around these buttons so that the button pops up through the leather. Now I'm going to lean the seat down and flip it like this. So you guys will have to bear with me here. I've never done this before and there's no instructions with this. So I'm just trying my best here. So these are crisscross. So remember that we're just going to unhook this and we're going to lift this up. Now we have those anchors on the front of the seat cover. So what we're going to do is actually reach through and grab the anchor from the seat cover. And that is going to come back behind the seat. So that's the only thing I can assume is that these come back through here and sit like this just to keep that from moving. So now we have our bottom cover, which is going to do a similar thing. It's going to slip on and these parts here are going to be the difficult thing. So we might actually have to remove this plastic off the side of the seat or try and route it down, um, which I'll show you. I'm gonna attempt to route it down first. So this side is on the inside, you don't see it. So you're not gonna see these straps at all. But the other side, when you open up the door, you'll see it. So I'll show you that, how I end up working this out. Um, but we're gonna sit this on here. Try to get it fitting nice. We're gonna push these anchors back through. All right, so there's one of the anchors. Okay, so they're all pushed through. Now, my thought here is that these could intertwine and kind of clip into each other and form like a series, almost like a, almost like a chain link fence. And maybe that'll make these a little bit stronger or whatever, I'm not sure. All right, we're gonna cover this up, wrap this back how it was. Clip these back on. And flip it over. This is going to be this one because we're gonna to wanna to route this underneath this plastic. So I'm gonna pull the plastic away and see if I can't fish this down under the seat and pull it out from the bottom. That would be the best case scenario. Okay, I found it, but I lost the hook. There it is. Okay, then we have these front straps. They are going to go get pulled across. I think I'm probably just gonna hook these right beside the other ones. That is going to go back on like it did before. Once it's clipped in, we can take our new headrest cover. And that's it. So there it is. There is the final product sitting here. Again, I think once it's kind of worn onto the seat, it will be a little bit better. But overall, I think it still looks really good. I don't think most people are gonna even assume that this is a cover or not the factory seat. Once it's all on and it's all put together, it looks pretty much like a factory seat. You even have a little pouch in the back there the stitching down the side, everything looks OEM. These back panels, I already installed the one on the other side just to make sure I didn't have to take the seats out for these. And it looks like you're not going to have to do that. I will say the only thing I don't like about these seats so far is the back portion zippers together. And what happens is because I have this center fold cup holder, it basically has zippers on the sides of that so that you can unzip it and fold down the cup holder. I think that's a little bizarre. Um, maybe there's no other way to do that, which 
I mean, the way the seats are built, I can understand why they did it that way. However, I would rather just delete it completely, um, but it depends. It's, it's everybody's personal preference, but I'm gonna bring back the leather covers. I already took the headrests off. Same thing as the fronts, just pull them out. Um, and then I'm going to put the seat covers on this middle section and then we'll put them on the bench seat. There's actually three Velcro straps on the side that are gonna basically wrap around and that's gonna be used as the anchor on the back seat. So we're gonna sit this over the back seat with those Velcro straps going backwards. I'm going to Velcro these three anchors to the back of the seat. Just like that. Here we go. Um, you can see that is my only gripe right there, is, is, is that amount of whatever's going on there. And again, once you have a couple people sit here, you know, like a baseball glove, it might, it might break in. But someone that sits here, that almost feels cheap. You can almost feel like the air bubble kind of in the seat. And these are not cheap. They're not cheap at all. I don't think this is a deal breaker. Um, it is a, it is kind of a bummer, but it's really not the end of the world. So again, once all this sits in the car for a while and it goes through the weather, the sun, the heat cycles, the cold cycles, and there's people sitting in them, they might actually look like natural, just leather seats. Um, but yeah, they smell good. They, the inside of my car smells like leather now, like, like a, like almost like a new car scent again, if that makes any sense. I figured this would just be easier. All I was refraining from was unplugging that, um, which is no big deal. So I'm gonna pull this back tight. We're gonna flip this upside down. We have all these straps. And maybe, maybe it'd be beneficial to crisscross these I don't know if that would help or not, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna crisscross these. Okay, and then we have these little anchors that just come around and hook onto this factory metal rod and Well guys, it's been two days since I did the install. Um, excuse me for a second. It's been two days since I did the install and they are still looking really nice. The reason that I waited two days to do like a little update is because I wanted to see if they changed it all from sitting in them. Now I've driven, I don't know, a couple hundred miles in the seats so nothing crazy but i am 100 percent certain that they have changed there's like bug guts on this right here somehow in between the door a bug like smacked while i was driving and went everywhere but anyways here they are i mean you can see them they look really really nice and it did change a little bit so down here on the bottom piece um you can see it still kind of has like a little air bubble in there <sighs> I would say it's starting to flatten out a little bit. Um, it's just this center section. Like this piece here and everything is all fine. It's just this section here. It's still like a little cushion bubble thing. You really don't even notice it when you're looking at the seat. And once you sit down, I'm not feeling it. So when I'm sitting down, I'm actually not feeling the air bubble underneath my butt. So that's good. The back has actually improved a lot. So you guys remember how spongy the back was. Now, down here is all firm, and I think the rest is going to get this way, which is what excites me, because all this is firm now. It's fitted to the seat, and it's not moving. And then up here, we still have some movement, but my back isn't ever really touching that. So even if it stays like this, I'm not going to notice. I don't think I... What the heck? A freaking giant bee just landed on my head, and that crow is still in the freaking trees two days later. But... This has definitely, this isn't going to be a problem, I don't think, for me. But down here is firm now, like completely firm. 
So I haven't had any passengers at all, as I said. So I, it might take a while for the same thing to happen with the other seats because I don't have anybody regularly driving in my car. The whole set, right? The fronts, I love. I really love the fronts. They look like factory seats. They don't look like seat covers at all. And I've already asked a couple of people if they like my new seats. And they looked at them and like, oh yeah, those are really nice. Where'd you get those? Are those factory? Like, no one has even known they were covers. People in person I've asked. Uh, a couple pictures I sent, same thing. So, they are fooling people, thinking they're, they're not even seat covers. The back seats look great. I think all this here looks great. The only thing that makes this known that it's a seat cover is these right here. Uh, this cutout. Again, they could have maybe changed that a little bit to make it less obvious, but that is the only spot where it's kind of like, oh yeah, that's just a seat cover. Um, the rest of it flows really nice and it looks factory with the headrests on there now and everything else. Um, it it's, it's fools people for sure. But the back seat has a lot of that bubbling and I never have people in the back, so it's probably always going to be there. But Either way, I mean, over time it might change. If anything drastic happens, I'll make an update. But I'm super happy with these. That's a huge improvement in my mind over the factory seats. And I'm very happy with it. I like the styling of these. I like that like hex pattern. That looks really cool. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I appreciate you checking it out. I'll leave a link in the description where you can pick up a set of these custom seat covers. I think you guys are really going to like them. I'll see you guys in the next video.